Hey everyone, we are back in Jinteki.net uh, trying out Andy with Orvor turning, turning wheel, all that kind of stuff up against Snake Eyes today, who I think is trying something from uh, the next pack, Fear the Masses. Uh, we're going to keep this, this looks pretty good. It came up that they were looking at, it came up that they were doing casual deck only, so I assume it's uh, they're using cards from Fear the Masses. So curious to see what that will entail. Um, but we can get things started pretty well. And we can showcase exactly what we're doing. I think we just try and take money. Same old thing, or or war. Yeah. They know what we're doing. So hopefully we get some kind draws. <laughs> they of course knew exactly what we were up to. I'm pretty sure it is everywhere in the competitive lobby on Jinteki at the moment. So let's see what kind of tech they have against us. How quick they're going to go, etc. Um, so we can install this. Yeah, the lag. Uh, again, a card which isn't ideal. Put this down and go for a run on HQ to see exactly what they got. We see Eli. So if we do want to start uh, siphoning, that's not going to stop us. But it can cause problems. So we should go kill Adonis ASAP. Assume this is Chrisium though, so Siphon is not going to be an option too early, but that's okay, we have our money making mechanics up. And hopefully we can draw into Turning Wheel soon. Not yet. So let's see what R&D is. Architect, don't want to run face first into that. Uh, let's go for one more. Mm. No, I think we kill server one. And put down a daily cast. Throw the cipher for the moment because they are well defended. Uh, and Ichi. They're well defended. HQ is going to be expensive to go through. And we're not really equipped for uh, siphoning just yet. They have all the money in the world. Okay, so we're getting our link up at least. Got plenty of money. So I think we need to start drawing into stuff. Uh, let's get a drug dealer down. Let's get this guy down. And uh, let's run HQ just for money. There we go. And it's probably a campaign. Probably. Or is it going to be Jackson by how to go to ABT? Okay, there's the Jackson. So, starting to see a bit of a horizontal spread here. Um, do we want to draw those cards? Probably not. So let's uh, let's serve a three out of curiosity. Hmm. Fun. So they tried to be sneaky. Pays to check things sometimes. And we can set one thing down. So, productive turn. And we're starting to draw into our breakers as well.
But no sign of turning wheel just yet, which is a problem. This setup means that we can't uh, inside job safely. So instead, we're going to just chill out a bit. Um, do we draw three? Mm, it's a tough call. I don't know. If we draw three, we can install, install. Mm. No, I think we take our time still. Um, just keep gaining some money. No reflection yet either. Let's draw one. Siphon, not overly useful. Not yet, anyway. And Vitruvius is out the door. So, I think we draw for something. Career fair is good, but nothing that I can use it with. Which is unfortunate. Snitch is useless to us at the moment. I think we go archives just in case. This is a, a Jackson. Um... Special order, probably don't need. Can pitch the levy as well. So let's let's see what they got at server five at least. Architect, fair enough. And let's go to this. And special order, I think. Although we need it for Shrike. Uh, yeah, we have the same old thing. We can get our levy back. <laughs> Although, <laughs> we could have pitched this special order. There's our Shrike. So I think we go for it after a little bit of reconnaissance. Because unfortunately, everything else is hiding on us. Let's get this down and let's go for a run. Server five. This will cost us a pretty penny, won't it? Um, Actually, it won't. Okay. Because there's nothing else raised. Okay. There's the architect, which is unfortunately going to cost us four, which sucks. And we got to see what this is. Turing, so it costs us five in total. And everyone's poor. But worth it. There's our reflection. Now, is this campaign in Breaker Bay? Perhaps. Um, still cannot find every piece that we need. So we see biotic, which is important, and Vitruvius. Alrighty then, we need to go for hand. And they know this. Still no turning wheel though. Perhaps we should be drawing more aggressively.
they are after all um, which could get them in a bit more trouble now they have eight credits so they have enough for the biotic well they had enough for the biotic to be fair Let's see if there's any other good stuff in there Heimdall 2 Victor 1 so is this something of interest I think we go HQ so now unfortunately Ravana is going to have uh, some subtitles on it And then Eli. So expensive all round, really. Yes, hmm. M. Thankfully, my memory was uh, good enough for this one. So, just enough to go through. And potentially a one in four. Nope. Chrisium, as expected. Uh, let's check out server six. Breaker Bay. Okay, well, we know it's still in hand at least. Now we just have to get to it. This is eight to get through here. Which is expensive. They keep leaving it as a one in four shot. But without turning wheel we can't threaten anything. And the lag is killing us. So we'll just keep scouting out a little bit. See if we see anything else in HQ that might be of interest. Build up some money and get that down. So we'll keep drawing plenty of cards. Another Earthrise Hotel, not what we want at the moment. So now they can get their Vitruvius out the door. And we are hoping to see Turning Wheel. If we don't, we should nearly go for the Siphon. Um, just to cost them the money on the Christmas grid. No. If twelve have to be down to seven, they'd have exactly enough. There it is. Now the fun can start. So we see Victor. We see Vitruvius, which we knew was there, and we will see Handel 2. So, 
they're free to either buy Anik out. The yeah, it seems less likely that they will. This is the much safer play. Because if they leave themselves poor, we just run here. So this costs us 4, 5, 6, 10, 15 plus a mystery ice. Dirty Laundry, we haven't seen server 2, but I'm very concerned it's a, ja a Jackson. Biotic still in hand. Biotic still in hand. Where is Fem good for us? Mm. And let's get rid of you. So at some point we'll have to commit to the R&D play. There we go. Alright, so our Orvor Snitch is even better now. Magnet, alright. Um, we are going to have to go R&D, because otherwise they can start bioticking something. So we can see three cards, an extra three cards, it might nearly be worth it. four cards but then our R&D is or this is cut off rather um, get one more token get rid of siphon and get rid of quality time Everything else still serves a purpose. I knew Jackson was there. Alrighty. It is go time. So we can run. Snitch a ton of times. Not seeing anything interesting just yet. Adonis. Okay, I think it is time to actually go for it. See what this mystery card is. Uh, I suppose I should. Here was Jackson. And we're going to see a ton of cards. There we go. One token I left over, which seems like a bit of a waste. But let's roll. So Ash can leave it there. 
Turing, Breaker Bay. Starting to feel like I should be trashing stuff. Ravana. There's one. So that took a while. Okay. So we're going to have to do this the hard way then. Hmm. So now turning wheel tokens are going to cost us. Eight cards left, nothing we really need. So we can build up some money and go here. Unfortunately, we cannot build up tokens, though. So let's spend loads of money. so expensive. <laughs> then again, I was watching Kiv recently and he said uh, if you're finishing the game with money as a runner, you're probably doing something wrong. So it's time to put all this hard-earned money to good use. And we have three link, which isn't so bad. We want three left over, really. Straight eight. <laughs> Nicely done. And we go archives again. And let's go to the other drug dealer. And we see Ash. So, server 5 is probably not all that interesting for the moment. Good chance this is the Adonis Ash again, or Breaker Bay Ash. So I think we can ignore it. Yeah, especially with biotic labor there. And we'll trash all the stuff. So now we need to prepare for another run on R&D. So if we run, we need four, eight. It's expensive. <laughs> Alrighty.
So the rest of this game is just going to be get loads of money, go for a run on R&D, see what we see. Um, yep, that's laundry on R&D. Make some money back, get a token. Could be worse. So I am liking Shrike in this deck, but when you come, back, come up against like Architect and small sentries like that, you really regret having uh, something that costs you so much money. Oh, that's actually galling. Oh no. Wow, that is awful. That's going to cost us eight. Or we wait for them to draw it in hand and go through here for four eight as well. Oh, that, that is disgusting. So we can see one extra card. Or we can try and go R and D again. Either way it's expensive. Yep. Now could be a global food, in which case we are in trouble. Five, nine, thirteen. <laughs> we're not getting through there to get an ash and an NAPD, potentially. So let's instead be snitching and hopefully we can uh, snitch and see an NAPD in hand. Maturing, still boring. Maturing. C2 on R&D, I think. But at least this time we have loads of money. There we go, finally got it. So, banking on seeing two cards. And we did it. So, a bit lucky in the end, but um, yeah, this deck is relentless. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We saw a ton of cards on R&D early, but only the one agenda to show for it. I tried to keep things under lock and key pretty well. And in the end, just about managed to close it out, uh, eking it out with the turning wheel, even though we didn't actually need it in the end for the, the last R&D push. But uh, that was all, all very fun. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll break this out once again very soon.